Hey guys, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Instead of bringing you an interview, I'm actually going to talk a little bit about should you study medicine in Italy? I'm going to start by talking about what are the clear advantages, what are the honest disadvantages, my personal opinion on it, and then finally, should you actually consider studying medicine in Italy? I think one of the clear advantages of studying medicine here in Italy is that it's incredibly cheap, it's incredibly affordable, and they are so, so, so generous with scholarships and bursaries and grants, and they do not discriminate whether you're an Italian student or an international student compared to a lot of places in Europe and actually, frankly, in the world. The second biggest reason to study here is the fact that the level of education is so high. Italy has the best universities in the world. The first ever uh, anatomy book was written up in Bologna. Humanitas is now one of the cutting edge uh, universities in the world for research. The level and quality of education in Italy is incredibly, incredibly high to the point that it's kind of annoying because compared to a lot of other universities, the amount of theoretical information you need to know to pass classes is overwhelming. I have talked to so many other medical students in other countries and they are blown away by the level of detail that we need to know to just even pass exams. So the standard of teaching is incredibly high, which is kind of like a double-edged sword. It's an advantage because obviously you know that you are learning a lot of good information. It is a disadvantage though, because it is an unnecessarily high amount of information and it is very very uh, overwhelming but I would say that's the second reason. The third reason why I think it's a massive advantage to study here is obviously it's an amazing country like let's be honest like <laughs> Italy is always romanticized and there's always like pictures and it's always in movies as being this incredible country filled with cities full of culture and food and amazing you know like museums and history and it just is such an incredible experience studying and living here. Uh, like, I'm not gonna pretend to you, it's not like in the movies, it's not always roses and, you know, drinking wine at the sunset with your friends. It's not like that at all. It is very difficult and tearful. I will say that I have cried a lot of times being here in Italy, but overall, the third advantage is that it is such a beautiful and culturally rich and amazing uh, country. Like, I, can't, I you know, all of it is very, very different than each other, so obviously it's very hard to compare two cities but overall I think Italy is very picturesque and every city has something different to offer whether it's like the beaches of Bari or like you can go snowboarding up in Milan or you have the ancient wonders of Rome like every single city ha has something so different and amazing to offer especially food wise and culture wise and history wise and you know that's really really amazing um I don't want to like throw shade at other countries but obviously when you consider other medical universities in Europe that that do courses in English, the cost is incredibly high and, you know, it just doesn't, as bad as it sounds, it just doesn't sound as nice to say that you're studying medicine in Italy compared to like, I'm studying medicine in Bulgaria. Um, I think that's a massive advantage. It's just the fact that Italy is such a rich and amazing country, culturally, historically, everything wise. I, I think it's amazing. And also Italian is a really much nicer language to learn, I would imagine, than and easier than to say like Romanian or Bulgarian. I think these are languages that I would really struggle with learning compared to Italian. So that was a little bit about the advantages, but uh, I'm gonna talk about the disadvantages. I kind of briefly touched on them and I'm going to try to be as honest as possible. The first one is that it is very heavily theory based. Like I'm not going to lie to you, even when universities say that they have practicals from first year, it is not like you imagine it is going to be. It is going to be one or two days in the hospital where you don't, you might not even talk to patients. It might just be like you do a hospital tour or in second and third year, like it is the, all of the universities, every single one of them, Italy in general has a very, very, very theory heavy uh, system you do not get a lot of practical activities. This is just something that you're going to have to accept. There are, of course, like exceptions, uh, like the fact that I know, I can only talk for Sapienza, but I'm certain that this is true for all of the other universities, is that if you are more proactive about finding practical experience, you will get more practical experience. Like you can go and volunteer uh, in departments and shadow professors. And, you know, this is kind of sad because your practical experience is in a way your own responsibility. Uh, there's no, there's like no standard across classrooms. Like once you do the bare minimum, no one is going to make sure that like you are learning and going and doing more things. Um, 
so this is, in my opinion, kind of a massive disadvantage. The fact that you are responsible for your own practical experience and even when you go and volunteer, it is actually very, very limited. Uh, like I'm in fifth year, I still don't know how to take blood. Rosh is, who is another student that I interviewed from Milan is a sixth year. He doesn't know how to take blood. And the practical experience is very limited. You obviously can up how much experience you get. I have a classmate who basically lives in the cardiology department. She does sutures all the time. She assists in operations, but she has had to be very, very proactive about it. So that is a very clear disadvantage that you need to accept when you're coming here. And I'm afraid to break it to you that like no school is particularly unique um, that they start doing heavy intensive practicals from first year. You're just going to have to accept that you do clinical years and then you will start you, you do, sorry, you do preclinical years and then you do some clinical years and that's just the way it is. The other one is that Italian is a must. If you are even considering studying medicine in Italy, you 100% need to start learning Italian today. Like the second this video is over, open a new tab and go and look up Italian classes or download Duolingo and start learning Italian right now. It doesn't matter if you get in in the IMAT or you don't get in. Trust me, you will be kicking yourself if you do not start learning now. Learn as much as you can now because learning Italian is a must. You cannot survive without Italian, not even in Rome, not even in Milan. I'm not even talking about like university and when you go to the hospital and start seeing patients, I am talking day to day life. Uh, I didn't learn Italian before I got to Rome. I was like, okay, Rome is a super touristic city. It has millions of visitors a year. For sure, people will speak a basic level of English. I can just start lessons uh, when I get there. You know, I'll learn some true immersion and uh, obviously I'm going to do Italian classes when I get there. It was not enough. Learn Italian before you get here. No one in... <laughs> okay, no, this sounds terrible. I'm sorry if you're Italian and you're watching this. English just doesn't really... No one really speaks English here. Uh, you will not be able to get by on English. You, you need to learn Italian. And this is like aside from patient interaction. I am just talking like day-to-day -day life. No one speaks a basic level of English. You really, really have to start learning Italian right now. Um, I think it goes without say that you really should learn Italian anyway. Like I'm of the personal opinion that if you're moving to a city or a country for six years, you should make an effort to learn the local language. You are going to be talking to sick people. It should not be their responsibility to speak English to you you should try to speak Italian with them. And finally, uh, yes, the courses are in English and you know, like the professors will translate for you, but this is a nuisance for them and for you because they are not going to translate every single word that the patient is saying and you are going to suffer from this. No one is going to suffer but you from not understanding things and your opportunities are going to be so limited. Like you won't be able to do as many extra shadowings whenever they're like giving out like uh, rotations, you will always be limited by the fact that you don't speak Italian. So I would say like start learning Italian right now today, even if you don't pass the IMAT and you have to wait till the following year, trust me, you will not regret it. Like start right right now because you you cannot live without Italian in this country. And the third one is, this is going to be really, really controversial and I'm sure a lot of the Italians are going to protest, but Italy is kind of racist. It is very xenophobic. Um, and I know Italians don't want to hear this and they're going to say oh, it depends on the city. Obviously not everyone is racist, but racism is systemic and it is very, very, very pre uh, prevalent. And it is very, very, very prevalent here in Italy. There have been multiple times where I have been so thankful that I am white. Um, I don't want to turn this like political into like white privilege, but I can tell you right now that as a white woman, I have felt the effects of the racism and xenophobia in Italy. I have many a times been insulted for being a straight, uh, a foreigner. I have been treated like crap in bureaucratic places because I'm a foreigner. People are very impatient when I am trying to speak Italian. I have really suffered um, as a foreigner here in Italy and I have friends who are people of color who aren't white who have even struggled even more than me. Um, so if you are a person of color, I think you have to be very aware. Like, I don't mean that it's racist in the sense that you're ever going to be in danger, but like when I walk into a store with one of my friends who is a person of color, the security guard will follow her around the supermarket. Um, it's kind of like small things like this. And I know this is very political and controversial, but I feel like I owe it to uh, you guys and the website and everyone who's watching this to give you a very, very very, very honest point that if you are a foreigner, you will struggle here. It is just 
the truth. I'm not saying Italians are evil. I'm not saying all Italians are racist. I'm just saying that compared to my home country, which is Ireland, I really, really feel the xeno xenophobia and the racism here. So I'm going to end the political segment with that. Again, you're not going to be in any danger. Uh, you're not going to get hate crimed, but you will be discriminated against. And I think Rosh talks about it in our interview where he has been uh, like, you know, in the hospital, he has been felt like he does not belong because he is also a person of color. So this is just something to consider. Um, I'm sorry to be brutally honest. I'm sorry if I have offended any of the Italians, but again, I just really want to be as honest as possible. So given all that, do I still recommend Italy? Yes, 100%. I, there is not a single day that I regret my decision. Sometimes I question myself being like, why am I in Italy uh, when I'm really struggling? But the truth is like, this is an amazing country. The people are amazing. Italians are so warm blooded and welcoming once you get to know them. <laughs> once you can, you know, speak a decent level of Italian, uh, the level of education is so high. I still think the international communities are great. I think the international student communities and Erasmus students, everything all together is just really, really nice. Um, I have, you know, overall, I've been here for five years and there has been a lot of difficulties and there has been a lot of times where like, I had a love-hate relationship with the city and the university and the country and the language. And the truth is that I do not regret any of it. I would recommend anyone to study medicine in Italy. And that's the reason why I wanted to start this website and this YouTube channel with my other friends, because we really want to show you an accurate representation that life here and university here is really, really good, but you just can't lie to yourself and other websites. <laughs> don't let them lie to you that it's all roses and some universities are better than others. It's not true. The standard is very high across all of the universities and it is difficult but in my opinion it's really worth it I would super recommend anyone to study medicine here in Italy so I started with the advantages and disadvantages if I would still recommend it and now I'm going to go a bit more into why I would particularly recommend it and why I think you should actually study medicine here first of all it's much easier to get into. Like, I just feel like this band-aid has to be ripped off and no one wants to admit that they want the easier path. But I personally found studying, like getting into studying medicine here so much easier compared to uh, Ireland. The standard of entrance is so, so, so high in Ireland that you can be incredibly intelligent and hardworking and still not get in because of how limited it is. And I have talked to other people who are in the similar boat where in their home country, it was incredibly difficult to get in. And in Italy, luckily they don't care about uh, high school exams. Like they don't care about your grades throughout high school. They literally just care about one 90 minute exam called the IMAT. And that is the only requirement. Like for example, for uh, in Ireland, you have to do, I think in the end it works out to be like 30 hours of exams. Your grades matter. You have to sit additional exams that are only held once a year. Like it is really a lot. And in my opinion, I would recommend it because Almost everyone I have talked to has admitted the same thing, even though none of us want to talk about it or admit it uh, because we're, it, it seems like we're taking the easier route. But the truth is that it is a lot easier to get into studying medicine here in Italy. Um, so I would definitely recommend it. Like I mentioned, the tuition is incredibly cheap. Like if you go to a country like uh, Romania or Bulgaria, the entrance exams are a lot, lot easier because it's more based on paying. Um, I have heard some terrible stories about uh, cor corruption because it is actually profit based here in Italy. It is completely merit based. It is basically non-profit, like the maximum fees you pay, even if you're in from an incredibly wealthy family is only around 2000, 3000 euro a year for the public universities. And there are so many opportunities for grants and scholarships. Again, the standard of education is quite high, even though it's very like theory based, the amount of knowledge you will be given is very, very high. The quality is very high, especially depending on the university you go to. You might have a lot of opportunities for uh, research. A lot. The advantage of studying medicine in English within Italy, even for Italian students, is the fact that most professors that are able to speak English, teach the English course. But the reason why they're able to speak English is because they have incredible international experience. So even the professors of the English courses tend to be the best professors that the university has to offer. Uh, so I think this is another like massive advantage. And finally, 
again, like, I think it's just such a flex to be able to say you live in Italy. Like, I know every time I visit uh, my home country of Ireland or Turkey, whenever I say, like, oh, I study medicine in Italy, everyone is always impressed because Italy just sounds like such a pleasant and picturesque country. And again, like, I'm all about just being completely honest. I'm not going to lie to you about anything. Uh, transparency wise, like, I just really love that it's a flex to say that you speak Italian and you say that you live in Italy and, you know, you become like so enriched with the food and the culture and the language and I, I just think like this is a massive advantage as well. Um, it doesn't sound like you just ran away to another country to study medicine because it was easier. It genuinely just sounds like an advantage and a flex and yeah so Basically, if you watched this so far, thank you. I really hope you guys are enjoying the videos. If you have anything you would particularly like to see, please let me know in the comments. I try to read all of them. Um, alternatively, you can always like email us and or Instagram us or, you know, reach us through other things. I, I'm hoping to get some campus tour out to you guys. It's obviously very hard currently with COVID. Even finding students to interview has been very, very hard during the pandemic. But uh, yeah, we are trying our best. We are trying our best to be actually unbiased and not selling you anything and just being transparent. Uh, so if there is anything you would like to see or like to know, please let me know. Um, my name is Sarah, by the way. But uh, yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys in another video.